So today is mainly aimed at beginners, but there are still a lot of things here that you know archers of all levels can learn. So I wanna talk about the connection between the draw elbow and the forearm, the hand, the wrist, and the hook. And the key thing I wanna look at specifically is when beginners first start archery, it's very common to see the draw elbow really low and when they're drawing the bow, it kind of looks like this. The hook is quite, you know, fist shaped. And when they're drawing it, it kind of looks like this. And there's not enough connection to the elbow. And the whole kind of shot hasn't been connected nicely so that you can come here and come in. So what I'm going to do for this video is demonstrate with my left hand, because effectively on the left side, I'm a beginner because I shoot right handed. So I'm going to demonstrate left handed and show you what it often starts out as why this is happening and how beginners and other archers can improve this connection and have a really nice connection on this whole side so that they can come in it's really nice so that's what i'm going to show you now so let's look at some of the key things that are not great about this first of all the hook okay when you're here the hook is not as relaxed it's more like a fist this isn't relaxed enough and then this leads into the whole arm the arm isn't straight you can see here there's this kink in the wrist so that's another thing and then as i do this the whole elbow is, is a little bit too low and then there's this kind of horrible angle I was talking about and then I can feel here the tension in the shoulder, it's not great position, Ten the shoulder is much higher, much more tension in there, it feels compressed and over time this is probably going to cause injury as well. Really if you shot a lot with this, probably not great for the wrist because of the angle and all the tension, I can feel just after a few draws with this like 10 pound band that that's not great for the wrist and also the shoulder long term is really not going to be good at all. You also find it much harder to get your anchor position, much harder to expand and much harder to release nicely. It's much more likely that you're going to release if you're kind of like this, much more likely that you're going to release with your fingers open rather than being in a nice position and being able to move with your fingers that way. So that's really key. So why is this lack of draw arm connection happening and why is it really common? It begins with how people often think about archery. So if you haven't done archery before, it's very easy to look at someone shooting and say, okay, it looks like they're grabbing the string with their draw hand. It looks like they're drawing the string back. They're pulling the string back to their face and then releasing. So the key words there are grabbing the string, pulling it back with the hand. It looks like they're pulling it back with the hand to the face. So grabbing, then the hand, then the face. Actually, what we want to do is we want to hook the string rather than grab it. You want to hook the string. And then instead of pulling it with the hand, you want to draw with the elbow. So once you've hooked, you connect to the elbow and then you draw with the elbow. And then you draw and you bring the hand to the neck. So you see the difference there. You're not grabbing the string, pulling it with the hand to the face, you're hooking the string, connecting it to the elbow, drawing with the elbow, and positioning the hand along the neck. It's really key. When you think about it in this different way, it's so much better, and you're so much less likely to end up falling into this pitfall. So I'll show you now. It all begins with the hook. So for this, I'm gonna aim into the camera, and I'll show you. So, instead of, the first thing is, a lot of people will grab the string and they'll fall more of kind of like a fist like this. So then when you're here, there's obviously a lot of tension and you can immediately see this bend in the wrist and the shoulder, as I said before, is more tense here and more compromised. So what you wanna do first is the hook. So you wanna learn, I'll just leave this for now. You wanna learn instead of, if, if you say I'm left-handed here, so instead of when, when we're here, you get your finger pads, this is a great way to learn the hook. If you're hooking too much like this, can you see what that did immediately? By gripping too much here and making more of a fist, you see this line came and everything's more tense. So you wanna get the finger pads on each finger like this and you wanna practice getting the hook. So rather than being here, see how that's really tense? You wanna practice just letting this relax a bit. See how that flattens really nicely? This is much more flat and now, this position's really good. So you can practice this to start with, just in front of you here. So rather than being like this, it's this, yeah? Here, 
to here. So what you'll find here, and this is one of the reasons why beginner archers do this, is it takes a lot more finger strength, a lot more grip strength, because we're not used to holding a string like this, it's not normal, and archery does take a real large amount of finger and grip strength, so it's often underestimated. But learn this first here, and then you can really see how much better that is. Then translate this to the band. So if we get the band here. Now, rather than here, rather than drawing like this and compromising, I'm now gonna focus on letting that flatten out like that. So that's much better already, but you can still see, so the hook is better. You can see here the hook is better, but when I bring this here, there's still the angle of the wrist. So you wanna bring that so that it's a, it's a nicer angle here. So see how that's straighter now? So rather than being like this and kinked, it's a bit straighter. So this is not gonna be ideal obviously because this is left-handed for me, but it's much better. And I'm showing you this because I wanna kind of work through in, in like a beginner way. So when we're here, you see how that line is much better now. Then when I come up, you work on keeping that line. And now what I'm gonna think about, I've now tried to feel the hook through to the elbow what I'm gonna think about when I lift up is I'm gonna think about drawing the elbow and basically moving the string by leading from the elbow. So I'm not really thinking about the hook. I've set that and I'm keeping it and now I'm focused on the elbow. And when I come up, it's elbow. And when I'm coming in, and you can see, obviously, this isn't coming round as much as it does on my right arm because it's still a skill that I need to learn. But if you see from this angle, it is much better. So I come up and lead from the elbow, it's okay. And then when I'm coming in, I'm focused on reaching the anchor position with the hand against my neck, not my face or chin. Coming in, and then against the neck. So obviously I can't see how that looks in the camera right now, but it feels much better. It feels like I'm leading with the elbow and it feels like the anchor's better as well. So let's try again through here, with the elbow, And, in. and see on that one how subconsciously I started to try and locate on my face too early. So it's actually, that kind of took over there, so that wasn't as good, that one. So when I come in, focus on the elbow coming around and on the neck. So that was a bit better there. So you can see, because I'm doing this left-handed, it's harder for, obviously for me to find the correct place, but it's really important to prioritize that neck first and then find the jawline. And then also when you're drawing, to draw with the elbow. A great way you can do this, and this is conveniently <laughs> attached already to the band that I've got, is by using a shot trainer. So you can put this over the elbow and then draw. This is to practice drawing with the elbow. So rather than you're not using your fingers at all, now when I draw, it's all, all with the elbow. So you can see there as I'm drawing, with the elbow that's nice and this is just letting me develop some feel of what I'm doing so now let's try and hook and see if we can do this so see now how this is a much better position than you know was before compared to the elbow is really low when you're drawing this is much better the height of the elbow is the same wrist is relaxed leading from the elbow through. So many things are much better because of that. So it's really, really good to work on it in this way. First get the hook, then go through step by step, and hopefully you can you know, prevent kind of this common thing where the elbow is too low and then drawing and it changes as you're drawing up. That's you know, not ideal and hopefully you can work on this and change that. So this is how you would do it with a band and then you progress onto a bow and stuff like that as well. So that's been an overview of quite a common issue that a lot of beginners face but I'm sure you'll agree there, there's a lot of really good stuff for archers of all levels in terms of creating this connection. So even if you don't particularly have the elbow super low or anything, and you know, you, you've got generally a good shot, there are some things here that really could improve that still. For instance, working on the hook with that drill, making sure that you know, you're know you using the, the shot trainer to work on that connection, all these things can really help. So I hope you found that video useful. As always, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll also put the links to social media down below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.